Well, we're coming up to the end of another uh, Beyond Blocks conference. I'm talking to the CEO of Beyond Blocks, Gabriel Yang, the man in the hat. Thank you very much. Gabriel, you, uh, how, what did you what did you think of the event? Did it all turn out well? Um, I think it's turned out well enough for now. Mm-hmm. Um, I also think that um, well, for a market that's supposed to be crashing, the vibe seems to be very good. Yeah. I see a lot of good conversations. I see that a lot of people enjoy the content. Thank God. Um, and I see that um, you know they're basically everybody seems to be having a pretty good time. You know, you're just supposed to see a lot of sad faces, people in mourning and everything, mm-hmm. but you don't really see that. The vibe's actually pretty good. Very very surprising. Yeah. yeah, after the week we had, I kind of expected to come here and find everyone on a real downer, but that's that's the opposite of what happened. Yeah, it is. I mean, the downer is what it is, but I guess it's also a case where people are like, the market is down. However, we've got existing businesses, we've got all these things going on. Uh, we're still building pro- pro- projects, right? And people are starting to mature. I mean, the market's made people mature and people are realized that maybe I need to accelerate things a little bit. Maybe I should start making money, mm-hmm. right? Maybe I should start delivering a product, which isn't a bad thing. And, and, and you know, the, if you look at the at what we're trying to deliver and the people we're partnering with, this is what exactly we're teaching, you know, like this, the theme of this conference, um, for, this, for this one in Bangkok, is about building the business and, you know, looking at alternative forms of funding. And I mean, not alternative, but existing forms of funding, like institutional, for example. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I think the, the on, Beyond Blocks events have always been pretty pretty high standard and quality from what I've seen. I, I went to the one in Seoul as Thank well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, it's um, I guess the a conference is a conference, but you know, every attendee is a customer, and the attendee experience is something we value a lot. Something we take a lot of pride in. At the end of the day, people are buying a ticket, they're spending money, they are taking two three days out of their daily schedule to be here, to network, to, to learn something, to get connected again. And you want to make it feel as if these two three days are A, as comfortable for people as possible, and like in that 48 hours or so, people get the most amount of value they possibly can as well. Yeah, and uh, we're here in Thailand too, which was, I think other people would call that a curious decision, but you actually started in Thailand, right? Yes, um, I mean, because of uh, previous businesses we were in, we actually built a team. Uh, we actually used to do marketing. So our team was actually based in Bangkok. Um, and because of that, we just decided that, you know what, let's just continue to build. You know, Bangkok, we were all here. We were like, why don't we just experiment in Bangkok? I mean, if there's one thing, if there's one thing other events have taught us, like, um, and I, my favorite example is um, Web Summit, right? Mm. Web Summit's in Lisbon now. Or even before Web Summit was in, was in Dublin, right? Does it really matter? Does anybody really care about startups in Ireland? Does anybody really care about startups in Portugal? Mm-hmm. Not really. Did that stop that stop them from being a destination destination of choice for an event? No. So I think Beyond Blocks is the same thing as well, whereby we focus a lot um, on, on getting people here. Yeah. Right? If you think about it, Bangkok, easy to get to, easy to fly to. Um, it's not very hard to get around. Um, if anybody wants to make a secondary trip to say, for example, Singapore or Hong Kong is near enough, um, it's a lot cheaper to do an event. Hotels are a lot cheaper, a lot more vibrant, a lot less um, saturated in Singapore, for example, Hong Kong. So that's why we decided to continue to do it in Bangkok. Lastly, Bangkok holds a little bit of sentimental value to us. We started here. And uh, this is also our way of you know, giving back to, to Thailand, you know, giving Thailand a little bit of focus as well. Yeah, we'll definitely be coming to the next one here Thank too. Thank you very much. So I know you also have a whole week of events here. Are yes. they uh, related to Beyond Blocks or are yes. you organizing some of them? Yeah, some of them are we support. Some of them are organized independently of us. Some of them are organized by partners, people who work with us. So there's so many side events. Might as well just give them some showcase and tell people that, look, But it, besides attending Beyond Blocks, you also have an op- opportunity to have more targeted meetups, more targeted sessions or more intimate discussions that can happen throughout the entire week. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Well, thanks, Gabriel. I'm going to yeah. go and let you uh, have lunch now. No, so. you too as well, right? Thank yeah. you very much. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, John. See you next time. See you next time.